Hello my little munchkins, crones, and sunflowers. We're back and here we're going to be doing a reading on Kelly Rowland and, and her husband. Tom or Tim? Let me, let me see. I, th I want to say Tom. Tim. Tim. <laughs> her husband and Tim. Let's see. What's going on? I don't know. I think I saw them somewhere and I just wanted to know. They just seem, they give the appearance of they are a happy couple. But let's see. Let's see. Let's lay two cards out. The first card would be Kelly. Okay. Here, full of love, emotion, and her husband, Tim. Still, woo, that speaks a lot. Wow, let me see. Did you lay, what do you have? Um, for Kelly, I have the sun card. Mm -hmm. and, and I then, have the cups. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then for her husband, Tim, we have the mice. And for Tim, I have the four swords, meaning chilled, disengaged. Yes. Get so good at the moment. Ooh, 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 ooh. Disengagement. That's what I see. For whatever reason I see, Kelly, love, emotional, in it, putting mm -hmm. herself. Yes, but I so definitely right. see her husband, for some reason, is disengaged. Mm -hmm. Or what not putting as much energy As much towards. energy in. And you have over there what? <laughs> the mice to represent him. So he could maybe be taking advantage of her. A generosity of, 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 of or her emotion. Mm -hmm. He could be. But I'm going to tell you what the cards see. Everything we say is allegedly. Yes. But I'm definitely going to, um, and you're going to have to put allegedly on all of these. So um, I'm going to definitely go ahead on and read. Okay. So that's lay. What's, be, what's laying in her base? Okay. Her base is the hermit. Her husband is disengaged. I don't know if they have a troubled marriage, marriage, but from the onset, it looks like it's a troubled marriage and it doesn't seem like it's her. It seems like it's him. I'm not saying it looks like they're breaking up, but it definitely looked like there was some trouble in this camp. I don't know, but that's what I see. They have been married for 10 years. Whoa. 10 years, so they're going on a new cycle, but I definitely see some distance in their relationship. Also, I see sorrow. So there has been something going on in their marriage that has been sorrowful, that has was like a loss of some kind. I see fighting and friction. Whoo, child, this ain't pretty. And I see here Kelly go again. I see her here as the loving wife. The wife of emotion. So she's feeling in this. I see a lot of feeling, a lot of feeling, a lot of emotion, and uh, just a lot of emotion. And I just see him somehow or another, he's disengaged okay. or maybe not being connected or around. It just seems like he's disengaged in some way. Mm -hmm. Everything I say is allegedly, but I definitely see Kelly. She's still, she's, she's full of love and it's about family and it's about love. And I think she's working at her marriage. I really, really do. And I think that she's putting it in there because she's not done with it, but it's been a struggle. It's been a fight for whatever. I don't know if it's infidelity or it's just boredom. I don't know. But as we read, we will find out. Mm -hmm. What do you have, baby call? Um, well, I found out a little bit of information about them. Kelly Rowland is an Aquarius. Aquarius! Yes. And her husband, Tim Witherspoon, is a Capricorn. He's a Capricorn. Mm -hmm. So they're both very high up there. Um, they're actually next to neighbors on the wheel. And what I have for them to represent, he interestingly enough have the luck card. So they got a luck, they got some, they, 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 it's a chance, it's not over. Okay, so it's like the wheel of fortune of moment for them. Yeah, it's not over, it's not over for them. It's not over, no. it's not over. And then they have a bridge, so like you said, they it's not quite it. over yet. There's They, they mm -hmm. have a chance to overcome it. Good for you. Good Thank for you. you. Good and for then you. they're still going to be mates in they the They still end. mate. Even though they got some trouble in their marriage, they're hanging in there. Sorry about that. So, oh, what was the question? Um, what did we say we were going to do? We, well, so far we've just covered a basis reading of what's going on with Kelly Rowland and her husband. Doesn't It seems like they have a problematic marriage, mm -hmm. but it seems like she's not done. And it clearly... If he's laying still, it seems like he's not done. 
but it just seemed like it's problematic. I don't know what's going on. It could be things from the past. So let's just go in and see what could be going on in this marriage. Okay. Right now, I see here a four of cups, and it, and that that cup seems like somebody is selfish. And maybe it could be about finances, but I definitely see some something is selfish or someone not wanting to deal with something and turn their back and being selfish and self-centered about something. And whatever it is, it's earthy. It's earthy. It could be an affair. It could be she worked too much. It could be he's not around. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, it's coming from a lower level. It's coming from an earth level. I like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you have? And especially because he is a Capricorn. Ooh, okay. Yes, this card I think would represent him in that sense because he this is, is the Capricorn. Okay, because this is the yep, this Capricorn. So this is him. He is he's selfish and he could be a little self centered and he could be withdrawn and turn his back. Mm-hmm. Even be a little mice and, and, and be a little a little a little micey where he take and don't want to give. Maybe he's not fair in his giving, but he has a beautiful wife who's not giving up on him. So he's not that bad, but yes. he got but he has his weaknesses mm -hmm. that could affect their happiness, but not enough to break it up. Yes. Okay, what else I see? I definitely see whatever it is they hanging in there. No mm -hmm. matter what it is, they said the devil don't live here. The devil just want to come and knock on the door and rattle the cage, but the devil don't live here. And, and, and yes, it seems like they, we got the power together. We can weather anything. It is not easy, but we have the power to keep us going. There is no perfect marriage. And here is this saying, there is no perfect marriage. Our household is not the way we want it, but it ain't over, and we're still working at it, and, and, and yet they do have problems. Go ahead. Yes, um, I see that currently in their marriage they have the anchor which represents. Well, I, I want I want to compliment on that, Maya. Okay. When I see that anchor, just this pop in my mind. You go ahead and do what you want, but I definitely see it's a little stormy, but they really trying to anchor it down. Oh, okay. Go ahead. That's what I thought at first, but then I was just. Then I like, tell you always trust yourself. Okay. Mhm. Mm but um, the way I was the way I was going to flip this was to say that. In their relationship, they are trying to, I think, trying to anchor themselves down in the sense because they have something good and they enjoy their um relationship. They do. And they don't want to like lose the relationship. He doesn't want to lose her. Yes. That's what this is because he's the one who's been selfish. He's the one who's been taking. He's the one who hasn't been, but why she's giving love. Right. Maybe she's not giving a lot, but I definitely see that that she is feminine and she's really fighting for him mm -hmm. maybe not 100 but i don't know i see this cup galloping mm -hmm. so not galloping yeah i do have to wonder yeah go ahead the next card i picked was the they child. have a child and maybe that's one of the reasons why they stay together maybe because of the love of the child um or see yeah i know she has a child i think she has a baby boy I can't do the silence. Oh, well, yeah, no, they really, um, yeah, they really do have two children. They know. have two children? Yeah, I don't even know why it popped up, because usually... Kelly has up. two children? She just had a baby? Yes, this is Kelly Rowland and her husband, Tim Williams. Tim it has been by Sarah. ...are more than just two entertainment industry pros. They are also two parents, they're also parents of two sons. Um, yep, they got a couple. They married in 27, um, 2014. Mm -hmm. Then they grew their family again with their second son in 2021. Was their second son a surrogate? Um, let's see. Um, because I don't recall Kelly Rowland being pregnant. And Kelly Rowland has been out in the world. But when she was pregnant the first time, I don't think that she was out there like that. You know, I love Kelly Rowland. I think she is so beautiful. I really do. I think she's pretty. I, I just I just like her vibe. I like her music. I like her acting. I just think she's a chill person. And she seems like somebody that could be a friend. You know, that you can confide in. And that will keep your secrets. She just seem like a very chill person. What do you have over there? Yeah, there? It's, oh. it really is saying that she did give birth. Wow, twice. Mm -hmm. Go, Kelly. Congrats. How old is her baby boy? Um, he, She gave birth to him in 2021. 
So now three. three. And look at that during Corona. Yes. Look at that. It's mm -hmm. show children. Yes. Hearts don't lie, do they? Uh huh. I was, I was thinking if she. Well, then I wonder does she want another baby? Oh, okay. Because that's well, what popped up in my head. Trust yourself. Okay. Well, could we ask the question? If she, could you ask another question? Well, that would be it. She just had a baby. Right. You already answered your uh -huh. question. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? That yeah. baby is three it years old. old. I don't think she wants to try right now. I mean, I don't think she's Riri. Okay. You know, Fair enough. Riri, like two years old, I'm ready. You know, mm -hmm. one, I'm ready. But she spaced it, mm -hmm. you know. So I don't think that she wants. I think she's enjoying what she has. And I think this is why she fights so hard for her marriage. And maybe this is why her husband distant. Because maybe, you know, maybe some men don't like dealing with a lot of children. I don't know. But I still see problems. But I definitely see, like I said, the sun come out, yes. and I see the magician. They making it work, no matter what. And as I said then, I say now, no merch is perfect. Yes. Where's the next state you want me to? What is it? Um, funnily enough, the sun card did come out for me, and that represented Kelly Rowland. Okay. So therefore, they both are together. In this She's working spring. at it. She's uh -huh. not giving this up. Look at her. She is the doting mother. Here, look at her. She's got the chalice, uh -huh. which represents family. Yeah. That means the world to her. And mm -hmm. that's since she reminds me of Beyonce. Okay. That they could have husbands that may be not 100, mm -hmm. but they may be like 99 and a half, but they want 100, but they're really willing to work on it. Even though they may have some bad spots, that's what I get. And it seems like her and Beyonce is a lot of like like that, in my opinion. I just see them as paternal twins. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for real. Um... My next question is, how is Kelly's career oh going? God. I hope you have a picture of their family. Yes, I do have a picture of all of them together. Oh, I, I really wanted to see if she was pregnant. I could see in this dress Oh, she my was. God, I got to see it. You yes. got to put it up here. Put it up. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. You got to put it up. I yes. can't believe Kelly Bowlin was I know she was pregnant, but I didn't see her pregnant with the first that's, one. That's so probably so to, beautiful. Yeah, especially it was during the pandemic. She probably could have really snuck that out of the room. Yeah, nothing was really going on. She, she could have did a good nine months in hiding, right? Yes. Yeah. And probably for the first three or four months, she wasn't showing anyway. So for the the next five months, she probably was good, right? Mm -hmm. So anyway, I see here, I see the two of wands. So I definitely see, I see a uh, Mars and I see uh, um, Aries. Yes. And also, what does that mean exactly? So I'm looking, when I think of Mars and I think of Aries, I think of an outer persona. Okay. I think of I think of what is it that you want the world to see and what is it that you want to give. I think she's looking at the world. I think they are as a couple. I think that they are reevaluating and I think that they want something and I want I think they want to present something or one of them and I do think that they're looking out full of ideas and whatever a project is maybe they want to work together on something. Okay. That's what I'm getting the I impression like because it is a two. Two always represent more than one, right? Yes. So mm -hmm. you see two, you see that black bird which is a messenger to me that always let me know that something is on the horizon with them. Maybe they'll write something, do something, collab together, maybe her, him, I don't know, or maybe he's just supportive. I don't know, but whatever it is, I see them coming together, and I definitely see somebody looking out with a lot of energy, wanting to create something new. Mm -hmm. What do you have? Um, yes, I have the whip oh. and the broom. It's very popular this month so far. It's a lot of sweeping away and bringing in new healing, and the way I see with their relationship is, as we're saying, Kelly is trying it, it, at least it appears because they have such a good... Well, I mean, he doesn't want to leave her either, we right, said earlier as well. Absolutely. So together they're working to mend whatever is broken in their relationship. Right. So that way they can stay together for the sake of their two children. And I would like to add to it. And I think that they, I think she wants to whip things into shape. Okay. I think she wants... That's that whip. Whipping into shape hey. and sweep out that O and let's go on for the sake of our children. And I think she loves them and do he loves her. Do he love her? I think they just struggle. When it comes down to this man, I don't know. Is is okay, I gotta switch it. Is he having some kind of affair? Whatever I say is allegedly, I can only read the card. Is he having an affair? What is it that, that troubles him? Because he's been troubled from the moment that I picked him. 
Okay? What is it? He doesn't want to leave her, that's for sure. But I... It's something that is inside of him. Something that he's hiding. Something that he doesn't want to share. Something that keeps him up at night. I don't know what it is. I'm not going to sit here and, and dig card after card to try to find he, out what it is. Clearly he doesn't want us to know. Clearly, it's private. He doesn't want us to know. And that's another two. And But let me end it with this. Are you going to stay with Kelly Boland? Is that it? Is this about staying with Kelly Boland? You want to be a wife. What, you want to be her husband. You don't want to ruin your marriage. That's what I want to know. Woo! Better than nothing. <laughs> wheel of fortune. Mm -hmm. Wheel of fortune. And when I think of the wheel of fortune, you spin that wheel. And that's where you really think about what it is you really want. Okay. What do you really want? And maybe that's what keeps them up at night. But I definitely see a 10th. And they're going to their 10th year marriage. Mm -hmm. And I definitely see a wheel. Like he has, like he loves his family. But he's in this vortex okay. of trying to figure out, he wants his marriage, maybe i go another way. Okay. There's sometimes I want it and sometimes I want the street. Maybe he's just going through that midlife crisis. Got you. You know, maybe the outside look a little greener, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. Y'all been married for 10 and, and y'all made it. Y'all made it past the seven year and the eight year mom. Mm -hmm. So don't be fooled. Don't let what's out there get in the way of your dreams and what you two are trying to do together. Yes. Whatever it is, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Let it go. And focus on your family. Because at the end, if you let it go, Tim is going to regret it. See, mm -hmm. he's going to regret it. If he makes this move or make the wrong decision, he's going to regret what he's doing. You see this, right? Yes. And and last, if he if he, I I just feel like he's really struggling with something. Okay. Whatever your decision is, put your family first, because the wheel of fortune, when it spins, it could be good, it could be bad. You don't know what your fortune is, yeah. but if you if you take and leave or or continue to do whatever you're doing that could be hurting the marriage. I'm telling you, it's going to be a tower moment for you, Tim. And if you think you're bored, or you think you want to be out there, or you think you're selfish, or you think that you want to withdraw, and even though she's busy, if you want to turn away on your family, it's going to be the worst. You're talking about, what is it, of the soul? Turn a dark night soul. of the soul? You're going to have a dark years of the soul. Because if you do this, it's over. So don't do it. Whatever it is, don't do it, Tim. Don't. Treasure your marriage. Nothing is perfect. Nothing. You've been together for 10 years. Make it 20. <laughs> yes. What's, what you have to say about that? Um, yes, um, for me, I did see that. Oh, he had the no cup. No way. Uh, yeah. When he pulled out the nine of swords, so it could be like some type of depressive stuff or something that keeps him up thinking, got his head clouded and fogged, trying to figure it all out. And then when we had the high oh. priestess, oh. I pulled out the, um, the crossroads, which means whatever it is, he has to make Conflict. a decision. He's stuck between two decisions. Woo! Like you said, the home life or the street life. Or another woman, let's put it out there. Or a man, because I don't know what's going on yeah. these days. And then another then, someone or another thing outside his marriage. Yes. I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying this is what the cards are saying. Mm -hmm. And then when you have pulled the Wheel of Fortune, I have pulled the home card. Oh the Wheel of Fortune. His home. If you do this, if you mess with your home, it's going to be a tower moment. Yes. Don't you're going to regret it, mm -hmm. and it's going to be too late. All that, all that shine, mm -hmm. is not gold. Yes. It could be glitter, and it could look good, but if you wash it enough or wear it enough, it may leave a green ring around your fingers. Yes. Fool's gold. Don't be a fool. Be blessed with what you have. Don't look out there. And if she's willing to forgive, because whatever it is, you have hurt this woman. Yeah. So whatever is going on, stop, be there for your kids, and be grateful. Um, what else? 
what are, what we want to read on that? What is it that you would like me to read on? That was good. That was good, right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm just reading what I see now. Yeah, I mean, know? I feel like we've got a no. I, I got I got to do two rolls here. So I got mm -hmm. another role to do. So I want to know how is Kelly Rowland's career doing? How okay. is that doing? Okay. I see things are dark, but they bright. You know, she's in a dark place. Maybe it's not going exactly the way she wanted at this moment, you know, because, uh, but yeah, but I see here's judgment. When judgment show up, I really don't know what it really mean. But I mean... We know what judgment means, mm -hmm. but I'm talking about in the sense of this. But let me lay out another card. So what I see is this. And her, her career probably been in a little dark, but you know she's been in a couple of movies and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's her singing career. Maybe that. I don't know. But it seems like she's been in a darkened space right now, uh -huh. a watery grave-like. And I think that judgment come along because I definitely see, is that Pluto? Yes. Yeah. So she's been away. I told you I'll never forget Pluto mm -hmm. again. So she's she's been in a way from things, cold, distant, you know. But I definitely see pentacles. And pentacles. Pentacles don't really look warm to me. They, 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 they don't. But I think um, this all has to probably do with her marriage and her career. But I definitely see that she's going to have a new beginning. And it's going okay. to affect her financially. So it's going to be financially lucrative, whatever she decides to do. But I definitely see that maybe them two as a couple was going to get into something too. Do you want to add to that? Um, yes, I see for her career we had the mask card, mm. which was very interesting. Fitting, yes. But um, you, what, what, what do you mean about it? What do you mean when you say it was fitting? I want a little bit more information. I didn't say it was fitting. I said it was interesting. Oh, okay, well tell me what you mean. I, I would like to know. I don't know. Just well, what I think of it is maybe she's on both sides of the fence. Okay. Maybe she's not. Can you take it from there? She's like, you know how you have two thoughts? So, so maybe two ways to look at something. Maybe one career. part of her is happy and maybe one part of her is. It just seems like Maybe she doesn't want to just keep dancing along. Maybe she wants something solid. Maybe she wants her music career to pick back up. Because she was a singer first. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's singing is her first love. You know, maybe she wants to put out some music. Because I love Kelly Rowland music. And I love her collabs also. You know, she collabed with Nelly. Nelly, she collabed with, uh, what's his name, the rapper? Um, future. Oh, okay. So she has, and both of those were hips. So um, maybe I just see that she's just probably looking back and figuring out what is it that she wants to do in her new life because she's a mother of two. So you know that's going to slow her down a little bit. But but she's a mother of two. You see, she still have a marriage. Yes. Sorry about that. We ran the memory card ran out. Thank you, yes. baby, Cone, for knowing what to do with this new camera. All right, so as I said before, in conclusion with Kelly, we end on this Eight of Pentacles. And this Eight of Pentacles shows me that there was some grief and there was some hard times that they were struggling with something or she was struggling hard with something or their marriage. And mm -hmm. it was grief. It was something hard. And it's something, but all at the same time, I see a new beginning. And I think it will be lucrative for her, whatever the venture it is. Like I said, it could be them collabing together about something, but whatever it was or whatever happened in their marriage or whatever he did mm -hmm. I think it caused great grief but I definitely see that they that they're really 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 trying to put it behind them and that, and maybe this is what this is about too that he's really thinking but I'm, I'm telling you he's going back and forth and this was a lot of grief and a lot of friction in their marriage again I can't stress that enough but I definitely see that that, that it's coming together that whatever is something new it's something big there's something maybe Maybe not big, but maybe big for them. Because I do see the lily and I do see the rose. So when I see that, I see love and I see scorn. You know? Yeah. So I, I do see whatever it is they're hanging in there. It's not easy. They're working on it. And I and I can't stress this again. If he's thinking about leaving, Tim, it would be the worst thing you could ever do for yourself. Okay, because you could not leave that beautiful woman. No. Okay, and I don't think he wants to, you know, because they are working at their marriage. And again, I think that things are going to come around. They may have suffered some loss, some financial loss, but things are going to come around, especially with this new project that I see that's on the rise. Yeah. And with that being said, do you have anything you want to add? 
Um, no, really, other than just the fact that both, they have the potential to have a good marriage. They and do. therefore, they just have to both put in the work into it and not get lost in themselves. Or he get lost in himself, it sounds like. Right. And what they have is beautiful. And they have to work on it. And remember, love is just a little baby. And with that being said, what do we say? Sunflowers!